Hi, I'm Greg Larson. I'm an expert. Here's my degree. Shit. Sport. It's our obsession and our passion. Our love of sport is as uniquely Australian as the meat pie, beer, and casual racism. If you're good at sport, you become famous. And if you're good at fame, you become a celebrity. The upsides to being a sports celebrity include the charity work and the beer endorsements. The downsides include the sex scandals and the hair replacement endorsements. So why should someone be famous just because they can throw a ball? Well, I know the answer, but this week they're making me ask another expert because apparently some arsehole at the ABC thinks I'm bad television. OK, so you're an expert, yes? A I'm sports a, expert. I'm a sports journalist and a broadcaster. So you don't have any kind of degree in sociology or psychology because I have a, a Bachelor of Arts um, with honours in, in sociology with a major in psychology, so... So why do we love sports stars so much? Well, so much, I think, of our national worth is linked to our performance on sporting fields. And the level of celebrity in Australia is pretty low. And we love our sports people to such a degree that, in a way, they become our surrogate celebrities. Sports people are different from other celebrities. Actors and musos are expected to live on the edge, and they can turn their hand to everything. Athletes, however, are under much more scrutiny. They're meant to behave themselves and follow a clearly defined career path play sport, endorse a muesli bar, commentate on your sport, coach your sport, and maybe even deliver the weather that will fall on your sport. Good evening, Gian Rooney with your weather update. Are sports people superhuman? No, but they do represent the best of us in a way. Is as kids, we all try sport. And in a way, those who come through and represent at the highest levels are the best of us. They're the ones who survived and they're the ones who thrived. But fame, money and celebrity bring temptations that can be impossible to resist. They can develop addiction to drink or drugs. They can become hooked on gambling. And all too many sports people embarrass themselves with sexual indiscretions. And it always ends with a public apology. If a man's wife leaves him despite his academic prowess and a high profile job as a celebrity expert on the ABC, it's her fault, isn't it? We're not talking about sports people anymore, are we, Craig? There's nothing more fascinating than watching a national hero fall from grace. That's why I'm about to plant a kilogram of heroin inside Kathy Freeman's house and call the cops. Now let's see who's making bad television. Earlier this week, I tried to plant a kilo of heroin in Kathy Freeman's house. I have come to see that this was an error of judgment. I should have thought before I acted and I'd love to take it back, but I can't. I should probably not have killed her dog as well to stop it from barking. I apologise to Kathy Freeman, to the ABC and to my fans. And to any kids who are listening, don't try to sneak a kilo of heroin into Kathy Freeman's house. Maybe try Jeff Hugel's. Thank you. Back to you, Lawrence.